All right, Coach, well, let's start uh, with that. The note from Mr. Fowler, uh, first win in a tournament since 2006. Just part of the turnaround that you've been working to accomplish in that. Yeah, it's big. Um, you know, we, we, we want our guys to, to feel what it taste or feel what it feels like to win a, a conference game. We got a lot of guys here that are hurt, banged up, but we brought them because they're young guys and they're cornerstones of our program. And, and we want them to know what it what it's like to be in a tournament and to win a game. So it it's big. Uh, you know, I didn't know that stat to the other day, but uh, but we uh, I told our guys before the game today, we just got to be better than Lamar for nine innings, and then we'll worry about uh, the next day. And we were today. So proud of our guys. They battled. They competed. Uh, you know, typical elimination game. Two teams absolutely getting after each other and, and fighting and clawing for every uh, every run, every pitch. So it was a good baseball game. Battle of attrition with uh, the pitching staff. A couple of situations where you put the freshmen into the ball game, and it, it was tough, but they held their ground enough to allow you to uh, win the ball game. Yeah, we pieced it together uh, with our bullpen and proud of those guys. And uh, we left a lot of runs out there on the field. We got picked off second twice. It can't, that can't happen. But Dugas with the big blow there at the end, uh, proud of him. But Lamar has a great club. I want to tip my hat to them. And uh, a good year, the way they battled back, uh, you know, they were left for dead. And they battled back and got in the tournament. So uh, I tip my hat to them. But our bullpen did a good job. We pieced it together. And uh, they did what they had to do. Nobody really loves the, uh, the 9 a.m. start, but you guys want to play four straight 9 a.m. games. Uh, tomorrow, you'll come in with a little bit of momentum playing a team that had lost the previous day. Uh, what do you look forward to for tomorrow? What do you have left in the kitchen box? Yeah, we don't know who we're starting yet, but uh, we're used to the 9 o'clock by now. I, I, I told my wife, her and the kids are coming up if we won today, and uh, I said, get ready. If we're in the tournament, we're playing at 9 o'clock every morning. So uh, UCA did it last year. They came through the loser's bracket, and that's what I told our club today. I won't sugarcoat it. It'll be tough and it'll be hard, but it was done last year, and it can be done. So uh, we'll talk about it tonight, see who we're starting, not sure. And, uh, hey, just play it pitch by pitch, inning by inning, and see what happens. All right, Caleb. Well, uh, you come up in the uh, biggest situation you faced as a college student athlete and deliver in the clutch. Uh, tell me about the pitch, what you saw, and just the reaction after. Just looking for something up in the zone, and the first pitch I got it, and I uh, turned on it, and luckily it went over the fence. <laughs> well, uh, getting back to the dugout, uh, just tell me about that would be action from your team. You still, yeah. had, still had some work to do, but I yeah. bet you some celebrating. Yeah, for sure. I got to give all the credit to my teammates, you know. It was a really, I was pumped up, everybody was, it was a great moment. Uh, with a back and forth game like this, a lot of runs being scored, I'm sure you didn't feel it was over at that point. Uh, Lamar could have just as easily put up another two runs in the bottom of the first. Definitely, we had to finish a uh, great job by Brandon Smith getting people out. Uh, just a great job by the, our whole team, really, I don't know. It was a great game, great tournament win. You have to embrace this 9 a.m. start, but as uh, Coach Burroughs, I'm sure, told you, UCA did that last year, playing four straight 9 a.m. games to win the tournament. He sure did. It's going to be hard, but it's possible, and we're going to try our best to do that. What does this team have left for 9 o'clock tomorrow, strictly going on adrenaline at this point? We're going to go all out, man. We're going to go all out and see what we can do. All right, Coach. Well, uh, obviously, a lot of tears being shed right now, especially uh, by the seniors. Uh, tough time for t any real any time is tough for them to leave. But just uh, talk a little bit about your senior class and what they meant to you. Good group of kids, and uh, we're going to miss them. And uh, you know, I hate for it to end as it did here today. We handed a ball game. Not that they didn't do their share of earning it, but uh, you know, two home runs. But uh, four errors on the board really made a big difference in this ball game and um, listen uh, that's what uh, life is made up of uh, trials and errors and uh, too many errors today but uh, I hope they get hope they got something out of their time here uh, they're good kids and um, I think they've made some friends that they're going to keep for life and that's you can see that as they're hugging each other and crying about this loss here today. Uh, Sam Bumpers did what he's done all year for you. Three doubles, including yep. that clutch one uh, near the end of this ball game. Uh, yeah. Just really can't say enough about what this kid has meant to the team and the league yeah. in general. Just uh, he's had a he's had a, just a hell of an offensive year for us, and uh, you know you always it's always nice to see the dream come up because you feel like he's going to get on base and Bumpers is pretty close behind him. So uh, those two guys will be missed from our offense next year. They. Uh, they're going to be hard to replace. 